In this video, we're going to talk about functions and the vertical line tests. So what exactly is a function? A function is a special relationship between the x and y values. For example, in a function, every x value has to correspond to exactly one y value. You can't have an x value that has two different y values. So let me give you two tables that will illustrate that relationship. So determine which of these two relations is a function. So is it the table on the left or the table on the right? The table on the left, notice that there are no two x values on the right. Look at, that, these, look at those two x values. In one case, when x is 2, y is negative 4. In the other case, when x is 2, y is 7. This is not a function. A single x value has to correspond to one y value. So that's why it's not a function. This one is a function. Because you don't have two similar x values that correspond to two different y values. Now let me give you another example. So I'm going to give you three tables and I want you to identify which relation is a function and which ones are not. Okay, so take a minute and identify which relation is a function. So the first one on the left, is it a function? A quick way to tell is to make sure that you have no x values that repeat. If you don't see any x values that repeat, then this is going to be a function. In the second example, notice that we have two x values that repeat. When x is 1, y can't be 3 and negative 4 at the same time. So therefore, this is not a function. Now what about the last example? We have two y values that repeat. You can have multiple y values that correspond to different x values, but you can't have the same x values that correspond to different y variables. So the third one is a function. When x is 1, y could be 7. When x is 2, y still can be 7. So just keep that in mind. If you have two x values that corresponds to different y values, it's not a function. But if you have two different or two of the same y values that correspond to different x values, then it still will be a function. Now, sometimes you might be asked to determine if a function or if a relation is a function given a set of ordered pairs. So let's say if you have the points 1, 3, 2, 5, negative 3, 6, and 4, 2. So that's the first set. Go ahead and determine if it's a function. And I'm going to write two more sets. So is the first one a function? What would you say? Look at the x values. A quick way to tell is to check if any x values repeat. If they don't, then this is going to be a function. Looking at the second example, there are no x values that repeat. So that's a function. In the third example, here we have two of the same x values with two different y values. So therefore, the third set is not a function. Now sometimes you may need to be able to determine the domain and range of a function. So let's say if you're given this set of ordered pairs. What is the domain? 
the domain is basically all of the x values 1, 3, 5, and 8. So that's going to be the domain of that function. Now what is the range? The range is a set of all y values which is uh, negative 4, 2, 7, and 1. So I'm going to write it in ascending order. So negative 4 comes first, then it's 1, 2, and then 7. So that's the range. So just keep that in mind. The domain represents all of the x values, and the range represents all of the y values. Now the next thing that you need to be able to do is you need to determine if a function, I mean if a graph represents a function. So looking at these two graphs, which one is a function and which one is not a function? There's something called the vertical line test. If you draw a vertical line, and if the curve touches it at one point, it's a function. If it touches it at two or more points, it's not a function. So looking at the first example, draw a vertical line. The curve touches it at one point, so this is a function. If we draw a vertical line for the second example, Notice that the curve touches the red line at two points. So the second graph is not a function. So let's try some more examples. I'm going to draw a few graphs, and I want you to determine if it's a function or not. So feel free to pause the video as you uh, work on these examples. So let's draw a vertical line for the first example. It touches it at one point, so it is a function. Here we have a linear graph, which touches the red line at one point, so that's a function as well. The circle touches it at two points, so a complete circle is not a function. And for the last example, if we draw the vertical line, it touches it at one point, so it is a function. So that's a quick way to tell if something is a function or not. Now I want to show you one of my algebra courses that might be useful to you if you ever need it. So go to udemy.com Now in the search box just type in algebra and it should come up. So it's the one with the image with the black background. So if you select that option and if you decide to go to course content you can see what's in uh, this particular course. So the first section basic arithmetic for those of you who want to focus on addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division and it has a, a video quiz at the end. It's a multiple choice video quiz you can pause it, work on the problems, and see the solutions. It covers long division, multiplying two large numbers, and things like that. The next tutorial is on fractions. Add in, subtract in fractions, multiply and divide in fractions, convert in fractions into decimals, and so forth. So you can also take a look at that. Next, solve the linear equations, which we covered. And just more examples if you need more help with that. The next topic, order of operations, which is also useful. Uh, graph and linear equations. You need to know how to calculate the slope. You need to be familiar with the slope intercept form, standard form, and just how to tell if lines are parallel, perpendicular, and so forth. And there's a quiz that uh, goes with that as well. The next topic is on inequalities and absolute value expressions, which are also seen in a typical algebra course. And then we have polynomials and that's a, a long section and then factoring you just that's another topic you need to master and then system of equations you can solve it by elimination substitution there's also word problems as well sometimes you gotta solve equations with three variables x y and z so that could be helpful next quadratic equations how to use a quadratic formula how to graph them how to convert between standard and vertex form and then you have rational expressions and radical expressions, solving radical equations, simplifying it, things like that. And every section has a quiz, so you can always review what you've learned if you have a test the next day. So here we have complex imaginary numbers. You need to know how to simplify those. Exponential, 
functions logs I have a lot of videos on logs and then this is just functions in general the vertical line tests horizontal line tests how to tell for functions even or odd and then conic sections graph in circles hyperbolas ellipses parabolas and things like that there's two video quizzes because it's actually a long section and finally arithmetic and geometric sequences and series so that's my algebra course if you want to take a look at it and uh, let me know what you think.